Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math olympiad algebraic challenge. And here we have a square equals to b plus 3 and b square equals to a plus 3. And here we find the values of a and b, but uh, the restriction is that our a is not equals to b. So uh, now first we call uh, this equation as equation number one and we call this as equation number two so that the very first thing we are going to do is here first we subtract equation number one by equation number two so when we subtract these two equations then it will be written as a square minus b square equals to so here when you subtract so we write it as in this way so this plus three and minus three are cancelled by each other and we have b minus a so uh, in the next step uh, you focus on the left hand side and you see that we have the nice square identity a square minus b square and we know that it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and we move this b minus a in the left hand side and when we move minus a it will becomes plus a and this plus b becomes minus b and this whole equals to zero. So that in the next step we take common a minus b from both of these factors and we get here a plus b plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. So uh, here we have two cases. The first case is we write a minus b equals to 0 and the second case is we write a plus b plus 1 equals to 0. So in the first case you get a equals to b. But in the start of the problem, we have a restriction is that our a is not equals to b. So our a is not equal to b. So we cannot take a equals to b. And now we just proceed here. This case only. And in this case, we have a plus b equals to minus 1. And we call this as equation number 3. And uh, now in the next step, uh, we... Uh, here first we subtract equation number 1 and 2 and now we add equation number 1 and 2. So here we add 1 plus 2, equation number 1 plus equation number 2. So here you see that equation number 1 is in the left hand side of equation number 1 and 2 are a square and b square. So when we add these two equations then we get in the left hand side a square plus b square and in the right hand side we get b plus a and 3 plus 3 is 6. So when we add these two equations then we get a square plus b square equals to b plus a plus 6. But here you see that we have a plus b equals to minus 1 so we use this value here and you get minus 1 plus 6 and minus 1 plus 6 becomes 5. So we have the value of a square plus b square is plus 5 and we call this as equation number 4. And now in the next step, uh, we take the square of equation number 1 on both of the sides. So that here you take a uh, square on equation number 3 on both of the sides. So here we write equation number 3 implies that a plus b whole square equals to minus 1 square and uh, uh, we know that the very well known identity a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b equals to minus 1 square becomes plus 1. So here we use equation number 4 and in equation number 4 we have a square plus b square equals to 5 we use this value here and it will becomes 5 plus 2 times of a b equals to 1 and here we move this 5 to the uh, right hand side and we get 2 times of a b equals to 1 minus 5 and we know that 2 times of a b equals to minus 4 and here you have the value of uh, a b equals to minus 2 and we call this as equation number 5. And now in the next step, uh, we uh, know about this square identity a minus b whole square equals to 
a square plus b square minus 2 times of ab so here we use this uh, negative square identity because of that we uh, find the values of a and b so that here we need to find the value of a minus b so here we know that a square plus b square equals to 5 from equation number 4 so we put the value of a square plus b square equals to 5 minus 2 times of a b and we have the value of a b is minus 2 so we have 5 and this minus times of minus becomes plus and 2 times of 2 is 4 so it will becomes 9 and now here we simplify uh, this equation and now we can take the square root on both of the sides of this equation and here uh, in the left hand side you see that this negative a and positive square root so these are cancelled by each other and we get a minus b equals to the square root of 9 becomes plus minus 3 so here we have we divide a, this in two cases and our first case is we write a minus b equals to 3 and the second case is we write a minus b equals to minus 3 and uh, from equation number 3 we have so this is equation number 3 in which we have a plus b equals to minus 1 so we can write equation number 3 here a plus b equals to minus 1 and similarly in this case we write a plus b equals to minus 1 and now we can uh, solve these two uh, simultaneous equations and we easily get the values of uh, a and b so that here first we add uh, these two equations so when we add these two equations, so this is negative and positive are cancelled by each other and we add a plus a. So it will become 2 times of a and 3 minus 1 equals to 2. So here we divide this 2 to the right hand side and we get the value of a equals to 1. And similarly we put the value of a equals to 1 in equation number, uh, in this equation then you get here 1 minus b equals to 3. So here you get 1 minus 3 equals to b and we get the value of b equals to minus 2. So that this is the first pair of values of a and b. So our a is 1 and b is minus 2. And now we solve this equation and in this equation now first we add these two equations. So you see here this negative and positive b are cancelled by each other and a plus a equals to 2a. And this minus 3 and minus 1 equals to minus 4. And here we get the value of a equals to minus 2. So this is the value of a. And now we put this value of a uh, in this equation. And we get minus 2 minus b equals to minus 3. And we move this minus b to the right hand side and minus 3 in the left hand side. And it will become minus 2 plus 3 equals to b. So here we easily get the value of b equals to 1. So finally we have uh, the values of uh, a and b are or the solution set are. So in the first case we have uh, value of a is 1 and b is minus 2. And in this case we have the value of a is minus 2 and b is 1. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.